physical hearing of court cases could resume in the five con counties which were under lockdown. Acting Chief Justice Philomena Mwilo has directed presiding judges and heads of stations to urgently hold consultative meetings with the bar bench to facilitate safe resumption of physical sessions. This as the country's COVID-19 test positivity rate stood on average at 9.5%, still significantly above the WHO recommended 5%. Nairobi and Mombasa still remain the two counties where one is most likely to get COVID-19. And even as churches, mosques, and other places of worship resume in the physical and in-person as well as congregational worshiping in the five counties in affected disease, infected zone, religious leaders are calling for caution particularly ahead of the Eid celebrations later this week. Dorcas Wangira has more. Following public order number two issued by President Uhuru Kenyatta in March, suspending all public gatherings and in-person meetings of whatever nature, the judiciary leadership closed all courts in the five disease-infected counties of Nairobi, Kiambu, Nakuru, Machakos and Kajadu, including all tribunals and registries. Instead, all matters requiring a hearing were had virtually. The acting Chief Justice now says all courts should consider resuming physical sessions as such presiding judges and section heads should evaluate the situation and submit reports by Tuesday. This as worshippers thronged worship centers during the second week since the easing of restriction measures. At the All Saints Cathedral in Nairobi, it's the first physical congregational service here and second Sunday since President Kenyatta lifted the suspension on both in-person and in-congregation worship. Social distancing is observed. Masks are worn even by the choir leading the hymns. The provost, Reverend Canon Samuel Wainaina, tells us that those who have attended the various services today had to pre-register before. We felt we didn't want to rush. We wanted to take the week to prepare so that they, when they come, they can be able to worship uh, without uh, uh, them feeling unsafe. You can conduct services online. And people don't mean to be here to be more Christian or for them to give the offerings. At the Holy Family Basilica, mass continues. Pews that could seat eight congregants now seat three. Catholic faithful, eager to resume worship, even with the Interfaith Council guidelines limiting capacity and duration. At the Kapsabet Full Gospel Church in Nandi, church leaders refuted claims that the church is the weakest link and super spread aside for COVID-19. Tunaomba wenzetu wa Kenya ya kwamba popote mulipo, muziogope kwenda kanizani, kaniza tuna offsap, social distance na hayo yote. Angalia na kaona, hizo counties zimekua hotspots na zikafungwa na kisha baadaye zikafunguliwa. Tunashukuru kwa hilo. The Pentecostal Assemblies of God in Carbonet, Baringo County is adopting the model of a hybrid church, streaming the service on social media to reach those who are not able to attend the service. Watu wote wa makanisa tufuate mambo hayo ili tuweze kukuwa salama katika ibada zetu ili tusiweze kupata hiyo eh, mambo mengine yaweze kutendeka ambayo tutafungiwa makanisa The National Muslim Covid Response Committee has issued an advisory to Muslims to continue observing the safety guidelines ahead of the Eid festivities such as prioritizing open grounds enforcement of crowd management and physical distancing plans during the congregation Eid prayer, ensuring prayers do not last more than two hours, each person to have their prayer mats and vulnerable groups to stay at home during the festivities. In the last 24 hours, 316 people have tested positive for COVID-19 from 4,251 samples. The test positivity rate is at 7.4%. 12 deaths have been recorded, bringing the fatalities to 2,895. 916,800 people have been vaccinated so far. Nairobi and Mombasa still have the highest attack rates of COVID-19 with Nairobi, Mombasa, Kiambu, 
Nakuru and Wasingishu having the highest burden. The average test positivity rate standing at 9.5% and the most affected age group being 30 to 39 years. Nairobi still leads in the vaccine uptake with Nakuru, Kiambu, Wasingishu and Nyeri following closely. The counties with the least uptake are Wajir, Isiolo and Tano River. Lamu and Marsabit recording below 1,000 persons vaccinated. According to the Ministry of Health, 77% of all health workers targeted have been vaccinated. Likewise, 43% of teachers targeted and 11% of people aged 58 and above have also been vaccinated. It is a fact that COVID-19 has become our new normal, changing completely the way we live, the way we worship and the way we interact. And even with the easing of the restrictions, particularly in the disease-infected zones, Kenyans still cannot let their guard down amid a third wave and the threat of the spread of the Indian variant. Dorcas Wangira, Citizen TV, Nairobi.